everyone, and welcome back to another round of Mom Q&A with Mamas Uncut, where we talk about parenting, motherhood, relationships, and so much more based off of your anonymous questions. Again, we got Lisa and Mindy. Hey, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Let's get started, shall we? I have a 12-year-old daughter. She has a lot of friends, but most of them are quite immature, like she is, and they're silly. Anyway, she's friends with a 12-year-old boy and a few of her girlfriends. They went to the city together today. It was a huge thing for me to even agree to that, but she had a great day out with them, and she is having her girlfriend stay the night, which is fine, of course. But then she texted me asking if the boy can also sleep over tonight, and I've completely flipped out. My flipped out isn't screaming or yelling, but I feel it inside. Instead, I just sent a text back saying how disappointed I am and how I cannot believe she would even think to ask such a question. Now she thinks it's unfair and can't believe I would be so angry about it. So I've then told her that she now can't have her girlfriend stay the night either as she got some serious thinking to do. I'm beyond upset about this. How on earth could she think it's okay for a boy to sleep the night with two girls in one room? How would anyone agree to this? It's so unsafe and just unbelievable. I've told the other girls' moms that I'm sorry, but I can't have her over tonight now as my daughter is grounded, but the other mom thinks I'm being too unreasonable. I mean, come on, someone please back me up here. How could I not react this way? How could any parent not be upset and angry over this? Uh, This is a lot. It is. Lisa's the teenage mom. Okay, she's way blowing this out of proportion. Yeah. Way, way. Let the boy sleep over. Yeah. You can work around it, right? Yeah. Well, first of all, sleep in another room, like yeah. they hang out and sleep. Or have in the living room, have them all in the living room. Yeah. But, but time out. The boy is hanging out with all girls, and it's that, true. like, probably gay. I wasn't going to say it, but <laughs> move on. He's probably gay. Like, yeah. But even if he's not, he's obviously friends with all of these girls. Yeah. yeah. Correct. It's not a one-on-one situation. It seems like a friendship. And yes. that doesn't send up warning flags in my mind. And this mom has, she's painted herself into that corner. She has gone in solid, <laughs> yeah. which I get. But there's points in as being a mom that you have to be like, I was wrong. I overreacted and I apologize. Yes. You don't, you want your daughter to ask you these things. You don't oh, want her to not ask you. You want her to ask you. Right. Yeah. She just completely made it so that her, her daughter is now going to go behind her back on a lot of things that she acted like this. Like that was, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Um, my thing is like, why, why did she get so bent out of shape about this? Right. Because like, if you're paying attention to how kids are, are growing up these days in those preteen and teen years, it is so drastically different than than us. But that's not how the world works today. And you've got such like gender fluidity and such like such um, people self identifying in such different ways. It's not black and white just, anymore. Yeah. What? It's not black and white. It's not black and white anymore. And so like having those old black and white um, traditions and values are going to create this, um, this, this rift or this chasm between you and your kids who are growing up in a completely different operating environment than we did, right? With between the phones and, and the gender fluidity and the the mixed races of, of, you know, all the kids coming up now, right? Because the majority are not purely white. Like it it is, it is, um, yeah, she, I mean, she she needs to chill out because life's not what it was when she grew up. Yeah. I also think too, like, yes, today people are much more open about sex and things like that, which I think is a good thing, but also she's 12 with another girl sleeping over. Like what, nefarious thing do you think is going to happen like better your house than somewhere else yeah well yeah like you you just didn't immediately thought something bad was going to happen I would have if I were the mom in this situation I would have applauded my daughter for asking me and not just like having this 
boy come over and be like, hey, mom, he's sleeping over, and then yeah. putting you in an awkward situation. Um, if that's his daughter. Yeah, I mean, she grounded, yeah. For yeah. like doing kind for of- asking. For asking. The yeah. right things in this situation. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to like throw my, I, I, I don't know how, you guys seem okay with it, but like my parents let me have boys stay over. And I mean, yeah. even, as, like, a, even as a teen and a, my boyfriend, like my boyfriend stayed over, but I like, I don't, I mean, we're also like, my room was right next to my parents. So like nothing was going to happen. <laughs> like I'm, I'm trying to put my mind in the frame of this mom for her to react in such a way. And I just can't figure it out. I mean, it's like everybody, like everybody has their own things, right? Yeah. Everyone has their own ideas of what is okay with the sleepover and not. But that's yeah. not really what the issue here. The issue is how the mom reacted okay. to that. Yeah. Right. Asked by her daughter. So I think she needs to reassess this, maybe, especially if it's her first, because she's going to get a whole, it's going to get a lot more complicated before yeah. it does. Yeah. And to also point out, I think Lisa just said this, but my parents are super Catholic too. And they even let me do stuff like this. So that's saying something. I know, but that's the thing is it's like, I don't even think like it's a, I, it's about that, but it's not. Yeah. She needs yeah. to make sure this relationship with her daughter is as open and do not get mad at your kids for asking questions. The end. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all we got for you guys. We'll see you next week.